It's so accurate and so concentrated. How did you get con- Whoa! Cherry Coke, to be so strong. That's not actually a punching bag in the back of my throat, it's a uvula. Good Mythical Morning! And Good Mythical Season 18! Fresh Woo! new intro! <laughs> I saw it. Different approach to the teasers. I know you're gonna love it in due time. Uh, yeah, we're making all kinds of changes because it's, it's a brand new season. Right. Same crap a year, uh, but it is a new season. So we do want to thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Uh, we couldn't have made it this far without you, especially this year. Yeah, and you know what? There's something else happening this year. It's the election, and we want yes. you to vote like a beast. beast. Yeah, Link and I are gonna be voting in November. We wanna encourage all you in the US to also vote. Now, please check out the site that we've created, votelikeabeast.com. Yeah, votelikeabeast.com. Uh, that means educating yourself so you can vote according to your conscience and really make a difference, because the process of voting, it can be intimidating, it, it could even feel like a burden, but we want to do everything we can to help remove any obstacles or excuses that could keep you from taking part. Yes. So, we have created this site to help equip you to not only know how to vote in your given state, but also to find out how your passion is aligned with specific candidates on your ballot. Again, that's votelikeabeast.com. Now, on to other important matters. Cheetos, mm -hmm. the nonpartisan snack that brings nations together. Yeah, because other snacks can be divisive, man. Doritos, they're triangles. Oh. Ruffles got ridges. Sun chips, they got sun. But Cheetos. Che mm -hmm. Oh, everybody yeah. loves some Cheetos, y'all. Right. Uh, so today, we, we may be sending the world further into chaos, or maybe we're just gonna make a fun video. It's time for Will It Cheetos? Okay, so there's an ongoing debate as to whether Cheetos are chips or if they're puffs. I don't know. But whatever you call them, what mythical chef Josh has done to maintain that Cheetos puffy, crunchy structure is basically everything has this cornmeal and leavening agent base, right? But then he's mixing and he's putting other things in there know. to just make it whatever it's gonna be. He'll explain it. All I know is that the first thing we're Cheetoing is Oreos because that sounds like fun, right? Some people like to dunk Oreos in milk. Some people like to separate the cookie and lick out the icing. And some people like to eat the whole thing like a psychopath. Mm. But is there a way to get the perfect Oreo experience in one Cheeto-y bite? Uh -oh. Maybe with these Cheetos Oreos, AKA, Double puff Cheetios. Cheetios. Now I'm going to. I got my milk ready. Remember that show, Cheaters? Oh man, the host. <laughs> the host was great. Ooh, look at that. Oh wow. Okay, Josh, tell us how you Cheeto fied these things. Nice. Right, so, like you said, we started with the same Cheeto base, and then we sort of deconstructed the flavors of an Oreo using black alkaline processed cocoa. It looks like a, a dirty wolf powder. tooth. Yeah, Dirty Wolf Tooth was kind of what we were going for, yeah. now that you say it. I'm dipping a little bit here. I'm not gonna dip yet. Oh, oh. Bro, you should dip. Primo Crunch. Speaking of wolf tooth, that's what I would imagine, like a seven month old wolf tooth, like one that's been out and, and weathered him. The, the level of crunch that I'm experiencing here, combined with the sweetness, I mean, if I were blindfolded, I'd have said I was biting into a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is that crunchy, so the, well, lube, but, but lube the, it up with some milk, The man. taste is right on, maybe, uh, I, I'm not lubing it, I'm softening it. It lubes it though when it goes down. Oh, does it? Yeah. I can, you know what? It's crunchy, man. This is good. You guys ordered extra crunchy cheese. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, right, you're right about that. Okay. We did order extra crunchy. It's ticket, making yeah. me think that actual Cheetos aren't crunchy enough. They're a yeah. little too airy because- these, Extra crunchy. These are, you made these a little more dense. I like it. Mm. Well, you're finally getting some use out of all those chews you do. Yeah, Ugh. I'm about to choke too. The amount of complaining that people do about your chewing, we're just starting off season 18 with you chewing the crunchiest thing we've ever chewed. We're just leaning right into it. Well, I'll lean away and I'll keep it down because I love you. Oreos, will it Cheeto? Yeah. Yes! You know, eating really crunchy Cheetos makes you thirsty, so let's find out what happens if you pair it with Cherry Coke, or as the ancient band Savage Garden calls it, Chicka Cherry Cola. We call these Choquitos, AKA Gamer's Delight. Choquitos, I definitely want to eat something that has the word choke in it. 
if you don't like cherry Coke. Grab, grab one off the top there. Does that increase the chances of you? Uh, Let's pour a few out there. Maybe this is what's gonna turn me on to the cherryness of cherry Coke. I, I love a cherry Coke, man. This is like a Barney turd. I know all, all stuff about Barney's. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> if you don't like cherry Coke, you're not gonna like this. It, do you, is it accurate? It's so accurate and so concentrated. How did you get cotton cherry, Whoa! cherry Coke to be so strong? Well, it turns out you can buy straight up cola extract on the internet, and so we got a lot of that in there. We wanted the flavor of the cola and the cherry to really shine through. That's not actually a punching bag in the back of my throat. It's a uvula. But you have knocked that thing. I feel like you could out the out the zone. Completely flavor. Good gracious. A regular Coke into a cherry Coke just by for like maybe a tenth of a second dipping one of these into it. Yeah, highly concentrated. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I, I mean, mean, that's marketable. I mean, you're talking about like get get flavor it? get punched in the throat with a choquito. <laughs> It'll get punched in the throat. It'll choke you out. I don't think people want to pay for that. I mean, some people want to pay for that. But the, the right. average person doesn't want to niche, pay for that. It could be a niche thing. You're like now that are you <laughs> you're used to it now. You just I, I like it, it cuz I'm a taste masochist, you know. Woo! That really bites. Oh, that that's fun. I mean, you gotta you gotta uh, you gotta watch out for the punch. We put that on mm. the on the thing. I feel like I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Start to I don't, start to sell that. I, I, for some reason, I can't stop going back to them. Yeah, it's um. <laughs> there's an addictive quality. Is there an addictive substance? L legally, I'm not supposed to say. Okay, then uh, we'll just go ahead and answer the I question. I need to drink something. Cherry Coke. Will it Cheeto? Yes. yes. Now Taco Bell once had a Cheetos burrito. It really? was just a burrito, yeah, with Cheetos stuffed inside of it. But because it's no longer on the menu, we put that thing down, flipped it, and reversed it. Introducing Taco Bell Cheetos, AKA Diaritos. <laughs> <laughs> well, only one way to find out if they're true to form. If you're constipated though, maybe this will- I am after that cherry cola. This will even you out. I'll tell you. Three of those cherry Coke uh, Cheetos. Reach in there and grab a nice -ish. It did something to my insides. Ooh, I, the, the scent of Taco Bell is wafting out. Oh yeah. Big time. This makes all kinds of sense. Oh, that was my tooth. Josh, how did you get the flavor of Taco Bell onto a Cheeto? So we use the actual spice mix that Taco Bell puts in their beef. And yeah, then you we, did. Yeah, we did it. And then we used uh, what's called meat extract. We added that in there to get that beefy flavor. We used dehydrated cheddar cheese, a little bit of dehydrated sour cream, and a little bit of citric acid and spice for that kind of fire sauce punch. This, this is just fun in a bag, y'all. I mean, she's getting a workout. My teeth are getting a workout. Mm-hmm. But you're sitting at home. Oh, that one's that one's different. And it, <laughs> we, we, do we have some quality control issues here? No, nope, mine's still mine, that one's still tough. You're sitting at home. You're thinking, man, I want some Taco Bell. Even now, just ordering from an app to have it delivered is not as easy as reaching in a bag. Yeah. This is... There's something futuristic about this. About I used to think all foods were just gonna be made into pills in the future. Like, take your dinner pill. No, no, no. It's all Cheetos. gonna be made into Cheetos, because this is almost like a pill. Now, I'm not gonna tell to you chew it. how to do your job, Josh, but I'll say you probably could make Taco Bell Cheetos just by going to a Taco Bell pouring out a bunch of regular Cheetos on a table and then just coming back in a few days, raking them back off. I think it would soak oh, in enough yeah. of that. But this is fabulous. Taco Bell, will it Cheeto? Yes! yes! You know, it can be very difficult to focus in college, right? And I think that we yeah. have created something that is gonna make it, if, if we actually release this to the public, it would make it. <laughs> hey man. That, <laughs> I know. It's Tart Cheetos. It's important what you're saying. It Just, would make it absolutely impossible to focus because we have combined two of college students' favorite things. We got ramen Cheetos, y'all, or as we like to call it, ramen choodles. Okay. Um, open her up. Ooh, Chester got nice and red on the on the front of that one. He's embarrassed. Oh, look, I got a three a three guy. Oh my goodness. Now these are. Isn't that fun looking? I'll get out a little bit more for you. There they are. They don't. They don't want to come out. Oh my. Oh my, Josh. Oh my. Mm. Oh my, Josh. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's salty. Is it? 
I mean, I'm just gonna ask an honest question. It is. What? If you just take out some ramen, yeah. and you take out the packet, yep. and you sprinkle it all over it, and then you just start eating it, isn't that kind of the experience we're having? Yeah, but. Uncooked ramen? Josh, it's not that easy. You tell him it's not that easy. No, that's a totally different thing. Nah. Well, here's a little one. It's even more like an oh. actual ramen noodle. Woo. I can't stop eating these, man. It's strong. I can't stop. I'm a little Cheeto man. Yeah. Just as I say, say that again. You know how when you're in the, when you're reaching down into the bag and there's like those huge ones like you got and with like the big, they look like a chicken leg and then you get down and they're like the little little Cheetos. Those it's huge like, ones like who's got? I like the I like the little Cheetos. They're the best. The ratio is just off the charts. <laughs> I'm I I'm gonna lobby for no because you already have this just with an uncooked packet of ramen. No, you don't. You don't have the Cheeto in this. The Cheeto ness. Well, it's not shaped like a toe. I'll give you that. So okay, you want you want this to will? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna. I will, it. man. All I right. think we can actually start a whole university with this. Ramen. Will it Cheeto? Yes. Oh yeah, there he is. Did you ever wish there was a snack that? Packed a tasty crunch while also preventing scurvy. Yes. <laughs> well, so do we. Feast your eyes on emergency Cheetos, <laughs> or as we call them, emergent cheese. <laughs> emergent cheese. <laughs> They're dangerously healthy. Okay, so we got to use these just like emergency. I mean, I got my glass of water. I'm ready. Let's pop her open. Woo! I mean. You, you could play a practical joke on somebody because these just look like normal Cheetos. But what happens when you place them in water? They float. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you need to do some like some stirring. Oh no, no, I'm getting some fizz. I'm getting some fizz. Let's just go with a whole bunch. Gr grab a whole bunch there, and then use a longy. As a stirrer. I, now, I'm also a long Cheeto man, but as long as it's long and thin, like I, I, you know, those are the kind that I like. Because again, I don't, I don't want a big bulbous. Okay. Cheeto. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. First, of all, I'm gonna try this one. Oh, a little, it's a little tangy. That's strange. It actually starts to. It's kind of like a Fruit Loop situation. No, oh, something about putting them in the water makes them easier to eat. <laughs> Water doesn't taste nearly as strong as as you would hope, but the oh. Cheeto itself, doesn't it start to taste like a, cause it's wet, I, my brain is saying, you're eating an orange Fruit Loop. It has a cereal, like a citrusy thing happening, but I feel like I'm just fighting things off. Does emergency even work? Isn't I, that, does, if it, if it doesn't, I don't industry, wanna know. The whole industry is just kind of bogus, right? Medical experts. Our medical Chase, expert Chase has went taken like this. a day off. Chase gave me one of these. Ah, maybe, maybe. Um, There's still a little fizziness. That's the that's the thing we haven't yet to experience in this Willet Cheeto uh, adventure we're on. Not a lot of fizzy. I thought there'd be more fizzy. But look at how bright my fingers are. You, you walk in on a man who's got some wet orange fingers like that and ask him what he's been doing? Well, you know what he's been doing. He's been eating emergent cheese. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try the. There's no mystery there. Now this could be a queen sweep of positivity. He's never if this get does a will. So. Oh, that one's really really I'm, hard. I'm, I'm leaning against it because I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we gotta wait and see if we get a cold. Okay. Emergency right, we'll will it Cheeto? We'll have to wait. Let's do a time lapse. All right, we're back. Five it's, days later. It's uh yeah. Approximately five Yeah, days. we're wearing the same things, but that's because uh, we thought we might be getting sick. I didn't get a cold. Did you get a cold? I didn't get a cold. Okay, emergency. Will it Cheeto? Yes. yes. We got a queen. We got sweet. The will it. We're back. Season 18. Everybody's happy. Or is it 19? Are we at 20 yet? <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that yeah, bell. Don't focus on the numbers. You know what time it is. I'm Philip. And I'm John. And we are in Spokane, Washington, doing a blind international taste test to celebrate John's birthday. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Our lawyers are coming after you right now, John and Philip, to wish you a happy birthday. 
All right, click the top link to watch us guess what Cheetos from the internet are supposed to look like in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Willow Mythicality is gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.